Welcome back. A partnership between Grand Rapids Public Schools, the city, and a Minnesota-based organization that helps get kids outside is back this year. Canoe Mobile is happening all week, and it ends with a chance with you and your family to get on the river. Grand Rapids Parks and Recreation Director David Marquardt is with us tonight. David, thanks for being with us. Of course, thank you for having me as always. Yeah, well this event was off the last two years. How does it feel to bring it back? It feels just incredible to bring this back. Uh, you know, we had such great momentum uh, before heading into COVID uh, with this really spectacular event. We've put, you know, a thousand eighth graders on the water over the course of one week. We'll be doing that again this year uh, after a two year hiatus. Uh, and you're right, it ends with the culmination of a, a what we are calling a family paddle night uh, that happens Friday night. It coincides with uh, Food Truck Fridays at Riverside Park. And uh, the last time we did this two years ago, it was wildly successful. A wonderful, wonderful evening. A chance for neighbors and friends to be together in Riverside Park, to get out on the water if they desire, and grab a bite to eat at the same time. I can imagine for some of these students at the eighth grade level, this is a first for them. Tell me some stories about what it's like for these kids. It's really eye-opening. Um, you know, the time that we have spent out there with these eighth graders, it's uh, you can see the learning that's happening. You can see the sparks of imagination, the creativity, uh, the expansion of learning that happens in the classroom. Uh, this is something that we've really been working deliberately and very closely with GRPS on for a number of years to ensure that we're elevating the, the opportunities for learning within this community and doing so in close connection with nature through the Parks Department. Can you tell us a little bit more about the day and what the kids get to experience? Yeah, so the, the, the eighth graders come out to the park uh, early in the morning. There's really two shifts. Uh, they're out between uh, uh, 9 and 11 and then between 11 and 1 uh, during the day. Uh, when they arrive on site, uh, they're either the first crew that uh, gets to go out on the water in the boats um, with the leaded uh, instructors or they're on land and doing a little bit of learning with uh, some of our environmental environmental partners on land uh, and those are folks from gbsu from uh, lower grand river of watersheds really um, working in close coordination with us to teach the children about uh, the science the environment uh, behind where we live and the importance of where we live. Very hands-on. It sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, tell me about that family paddle night on Friday. Again, you, you mentioned some things. What can families expect? All we, uh, all we uh, ask residents to be aware of is uh, to, to show up and uh, be prepared for a fun evening of, of relaxation. Uh, there's no fee, no charges, no registration necessary. Uh, come on down to the park with your family. Grab a bite to eat uh, at Food Truck Fridays, uh, but also participate in some of these water-based uh, activities as well. We'll have kayaks available for your use. Uh, you can jump into these canoes, these large uh, passenger canoes <clears throat> from the organization from Minnesota. They'll take you on a guided experience on the water. Um, and there's no charge for this at all. Uh, just show up with a, a spirit of fun and, and uh, ready to, to uh, get out and embark on some of the, this great weather that we've been having. Oh, and I hope the weather holds out for this event, too. Sounds like a lot of fun. David, thank you for joining us. Appreciate the time.